Okay, so let's get started with uh, VirtualBox here. Bring it up. I want to take a look at VirtualBox to uh, look at a problem that you might run into. So if we click New, uh, we're going to choose Linux, uh, Ubuntu, of course, what we've been working with. Um, I'm going to call this one Marshmallow Build uh, Builder. Um, we're going to we're going to do a couple virtual boxes here, but let's see. Let's give it uh, four gigs of RAM. Let's uh, create a virtual hard disk. Um, VDI is fine. Dynamic is great. Uh, let's slide this up. Let's give it about 300 gigabytes. Now, since it's dynamic drive, it'll only take the space if it's actually using it. So let's create, and there we go. We've got our Marshmallow Builder um, created. So we're going to go through the install process, and then we want to look at uh, a problem that I've seen when using uh, VirtualBox with Ubuntu. So we're going to choose from our CD-ROM drive which is our Ubuntu 14.04 that we've been using this whole time. Again, you can use newer versions of Ubuntu. I just, this works really good. Uh, it's the recommended one on the Google Android Open Source Project website. And so that's why we're sticking with it for now. So you notice I, I, uh, I can stretch the screen out here, but the screen stays the same size. Um, VirtualBox is a pretty neat program. Uh, if you choose scaled mode here, um, it'll is just going to tell us here that we can we can switch back and forth. So using the scaled mode now, um, when I when I make it bigger, it gets bigger. But we're actually going to look at why uh, this causes a problem when um, once the ROM is or excuse me not ROM once the uh, Ubuntu is fully installed. Um, as well as looking at VirtualBox, we're also going to be taking a look at a few other uh, projects. Um, namely, we're going to be looking at uh, uh, Team Win Recovery Project, Twerp, and building uh, your own version of Twerp. <clears throat> we're going to look at, uh, at um, how we can download some minimal uh, Android setup just for building twerp. So you don't have to synchronize the entire source code for Lineage or OmniROM. Um, so that, that's just really useful, I think, because instead of downloading 500 plus projects, you're only gonna download about 75-ish projects, which really makes a big difference. Save you a lot of space, save you a lot of um, bandwidth as well. Now, of course, we've set up and installed Ubuntu before, but we're going to run through this quickly just so we get an idea. Um, if you do need more help with setting up Ubuntu, um, I've done videos on this before as well, and those might be worth taking a look at. We'll give it just a minute here, see if it picks up. And here we go. So of course, when you put the uh, Ubuntu disk in, the first thing it tries to do is run as a live CD. So we're actually going to have to, you know, choose that we want to do the install instead of just test it out in the live mode. Obviously, if we're testing out in the live mode, that wouldn't work very good because uh, as soon as you rebooted, all of your changes would be gone. So there we go. We're going to click Install Ubuntu. Uh, we could download updates while installing. We're not going to check that because we'll update later. Installing third-party software. Uh, sometimes that can be good, you know, uh, MP3, stuff like that. Um, we don't need it. Uh, let's see. We're just going to go with the default option. And we're going to continue. 
and now it's going to go through and uh, erase the hard disk and start uh, formatting and installing. So of course, I am the Alaska Linux user. That's why uh, I choose Anchorage. They didn't have Fairbanks on there. I'm just going to go with the defaults on, on some of these things. Here we go, Alaska Linux user. Um, choose our secret squirrel short password here just to make it easy for working with the system. So I'm just going to log in automatically. This is a security issue, obviously, but we're just using this for a virtual machine, so that's going to be OK. All right, so here it's just going to run through the uh, copying um, process. It's going to, even though we chose not to download uh, updates for the files, it is going to download a few files of a few things that it needs and doesn't have on the disk. Um, but uh, but for the most part, it's not going to go through and, and download everything off of the internet. So the remainder of this video is just just of course, just the installation uh, running its course, and when it's done, um, we we'll just reboot the machine, and that's when we're going to get into our interesting errors. So I'm just going to let this play through. Uh, you can watch along if you like, and um, we'll uh, we'll go on from there. <laughs> 